Okay, so this year a Seattle barista took home the title of U.S. Barista Champion with a signature coffee drink that's unlike anything you have ever tasted. His name is Cole McBride, and he's the cafe manager at Ada's Technical Books and Cafe on Capitol Hill, and he's turned the science of coffee into an art form. Look at him go. He's like Bill Nye. Luckily, mm -hmm. he's with us this morning, live here in the studio, to show us his signature drink. Uh, morning, Cole. Good morning. This is this is yeah. like a laboratory here. This it is. is something. This <laughs> is great. So not everybody gets to try this drink. This is a special opportunity because of all the ins and outs that you have to have in one place. So why are you doing this? Adis has got a great event this week, right? Absolutely. We're going to be doing multiple events where I'll be selling tickets to this uh, service where we'll serve four people. This drink uh, serves four, and so we'll be doing it about eight times over the next month. Wow. Does this name have a? Does this drink have a name? I've called it the espresso champagne, and so mm -hmm. it's uh, that's what it's based on. It's a champagne like beverage. Well, that's a pretty good name, actually. So it try. took you a long time to figure this out, right? To come up with this concoction. I've been working on it on and off for about six years. Six wow. years. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, so before we get started, because there are many elements to mm -hmm. this drink, kind of walk us through what you're going to be doing, because this is very unusual. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've taken uh, Velton's Coffee Ecuador Finca La Papaya, which I visit um, every year. Uh, and I've taken that shot and I've drawn it out extremely long. It's already oh, been paper filtered. Uh, I've done this to save us a little time. Whoa. And I'm going to run it through a condenser. This is bringing the temperature down nice and gentle. It's going to help um, it go through our next stage oh, of here. filtration. So that's filtering the espresso shot. Yeah, it's basically bringing, it, bringing the temperature down is what it's mostly doing. And bringing that down is going to help me get through my next filtration process. So. Before I carbonate the beverage, I need to remove some of the things in the coffee, like lipids and different things in the crema mm -hmm. that are going to keep it from carbonating properly. So I'm going to move this on yeah, to we'll a, keep that thing safe. a carbon filter. So this is like a carbon filter that you would have at home. Um, it is basically like a Brita, essentially. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to filter out the espresso. And this one's already been run through the okay. condenser. And what are you filtering out, Cole? I'm filtering out mostly the lipids and things that are in the crema. These things are going to interfere with CO2. They're going to make it to where espresso won't carbonate. It's going to oh. kind of make it a real big mess. So this is going to uh, allow me to carbonate my espresso. Okay. So it's going to remove a lot of things in it. It's going to reduce the volume of the espresso quite a bit. And at that point, we've got the espresso element ready. Okay. And we're going to add it to a CO2 device. Like a giant go mug a there. CO2 <laughs> device. And then what wow. I've just added here is I've taken yuzu, a Japanese citrus mm -hmm. that uh, we bring in from Japan, uh, and it has been zested. I've taken that zest and I've added baker sugar uh -huh. and I've added some citric acid. Wow. Now these elements are going to help combine with the coffee to create a totally new profile. So you had to do this in front of an audience with cameras and competition, Absolutely. right? And that, did they give you a time limit to do this? 15 minutes, but you also serve four espressos and you also serve um, four milk beverages. So what I've just done is I've added some CO2 and I've immediately pushed it out. That creates a catatonic environment, meaning there's nothing in here interfering with it. So what I'm going to do before I add my next shot is this is going to need to be rapidly chilled. So we're going to hit it on some dry ice. It's going to be kind of pretty <laughs> and it's going, this has a purpose other than being pretty though. We need to bring the temperature down of the drink very quickly. Dry ice is, you know, below uh -huh. at 90 degrees mm -hmm. and so it's very very cold and this is rapidly chilling my beverage oh. and this is because the beverage one needs to be cold and also because CO2 doesn't interact at a room temperature level very well mm -hmm. so you won't get the bubbles you want mm. so now that it's being chilled I'm gonna add my second charge of CO2 we're gonna give it a gentle shake and CO2. Thank you for doing yeah. that over there. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, the judges wouldn't have liked it much if I had to hit them with that. Right. All right. So. Imagine if you had to do this every morning with a line of people right. out the door. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that might not be the most realistic situation. So that's probably really cold. Oh, look oh it's that. pretty cold. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And so it's got a little bit of um, it's got a little bit of a uh, like a kind of like a foam on it. Yeah. And normally I'd let this sit for a moment and let it kind of settle in. Mm -hmm. um, and what's going to happen as it settles in is more of the CO2 is going to become dispersed. You pour it out. And then we're going to serve the beverage. Oh my goodness. So Look what you're going to taste when you taste this, it's going to transform the coffee and it's going to become much more 
uh, like honeysuckle and grapefruit, and it's gonna have a nice, lovely sweetness. I can't wait yeah. to try this thing. I've never had anything like it. All right, cheers. cheers. Good morning. Yeah. Enjoy. Mm. So this is uh, champagne coffee. Oh, <laughs> wow. That is unbelievable. That doesn't taste, it, it tastes like coffee, but there's a sweetness yeah. to it. It tastes like champagne. I can't mm. explain it any <laughs> other way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow. Congratulations, Paul. That so That's amazing. So yeah. What does this mean for you? To be, um, to be the U.S. barista champion. It, you become the official ambassador of specialty coffee for the United States. And so it's it's a title that means that like I'm kind of always expected to be on and being able to represent specialty coffee. Yeah. And so doing things like this and supporting the barista community, um, there are some cool opportunities of travel. I've gotten to go to Ecuador and Colombia to yeah, meet farmers. Fantastic. And so it's just like a really special thing to help, you know, uplift the uh, specialty coffee yeah, community. And you're representing us well in Seattle too. So Ada books over the next few weeks, people can try this. Yeah, it'll be Ada's Discovery, our second location right off of uh, Broadway and Thomas. Awesome. Cole, thanks so much. Thank you so much.